everybody welcome back to my channel hope you're having a great week so far today's video is my polish pickup order for november 2022 didn't go quite as crazy this month as i have in previous months there were a couple that i just knew i needed to get one i probably could have done without but the majority of these were really just speaking to me so if you want to see what i picked up just keep watching so the first polish is going to be this one from ethereal lacquer it is called the pickle it is described as a pickle green jelly base with pink to orange shimmer and holographic micro flakes when i saw this polish and the swatches i knew that i needed to get it i have nothing like this in my collection when i swatched it prior to filming this it just was just as beautiful as I had hoped it was going to be. I love all of those colors in there. I love the holographic glitters in there. I love the color of it and everything. So I knew I needed to pick that one up. So I have it here. This, I believe, was two coats. It is a jelly formula, but I found that it was a little bit more opaque than what I was expecting and I love that it's got that shifting shimmer in it. It's got that pink to orange shifting shimmer against the green with the holographic flakes. It is just everything I needed in a bottle. So that is two coats of Ethereal Lacquer, the pickle. The next one is one that I probably could have done without. I'm not really sure what led me to get this one. I think it was just the color combo. So this is by Zombie Claw and this one is called All Things Pastel and Scary. And it is described as a creepy cute crelly with black, pink, and purple flakes and neon glitters. I think all of that in there together and I saw the photos and thought that is such a unique polish. It just looked so unique. Got it home, swatched it, and thought, yeah, I probably could have actually left this one. Um, it is a little bit thirsty. It does dry down rather textured. I did two layers of top coat here in my swatch. It is a really pretty polish. Just was a little different than I was thinking it was going to be. But this is it in two coats. And it is a much deeper base than the MJ Lacquer polish that I have is, which I like that about this. It is a deeper purple, a deeper lilac, so to speak, but it has the pink glitter, neon glitters in there up against the black flakies. It just was a really unique and interesting polish. Application was fairly easy with this one. It is glitter packed, flaky packed, so it is textured. You will need a good top coat. I did two layers of a cheaper top coat. With a good top coat, you may want to use like a glitter smoothing top coat first and then a quick dry top coat or a couple layers of top coat would be fine. So that is two coats of Zombie Claw All Things Pastel and Scary. The next polish here was a no-brainer for me. I have recently gotten into Bees Knees lacquer polishes, so when I saw them come out with this one, it just was an automatic add to wish list and then add to my cart. So this one is called, I think it's pronounced Perta. I'm not sure. And please forgive me if I am wrong on that pronunciation. But this polish is described as an icy sibling to, the, to a lion with a thorn in its paw. It has red to green shimmer and extra hollow flakes. I do not have the original A Lion with a Thorn in its Paw. I really wish I would have gotten my hands on that one, but did not get into these Need That Lacquer till recently. So unfortunately I missed out, but this is beautiful. If this is as good as the other polishes that I currently have, and I do have more on the way from her line, this is just going to be as much of a favorite in my collection as the other ones. It is beautiful. I love all of the shiftiness in this polish. I, in person, am seeing red, orange, green, copper shifts, depending on lighting, and I don't know if it's going to pick it up on camera, but this is an absolute beautiful color. It was fully opaque in two coats for me, so this is what 
Herta looks like in two coats. You can see all of that shiftiness in here. I just love everything about it. It is screaming New Year polish, holiday polish, all kinds of stuff. I just like, there's so many manicures I can see myself doing with this particular polish. It is absolutely gorgeous. So that is two coats of Bees Knees Lacquer, Bees Knees Lacquer Perita. The next one was also a, what is one that I knew I needed to pick up. This is Polished for Days Noble Fur. And it is described as a darkened sage green holographic flake base with green to yellow to gold iridescent flakes. Everything about this was screaming holiday manicure to me. Christmas, you name it. It just was perfect for the upcoming holiday season. We are weeks away from Christmas and I know that I will be putting this one on my winter rack for sure. It is an absolutely gorgeous polish. I think with this one I did not mark it down but I'm almost certain I did three coats in this one. It seemed a little bit light in two coats and to get that deeper color I went in for a third and I was happy with the opacity on it. It is not overly textured at all. It just seems to soak up top coat rather easily. But that is three coats of Polished for Days Noble Fur. The next polish was something that is new to my collection. This is a stamping polish for nail art. This is by Hit the Bottle and it is called Bobbles Deep. This is described as, I don't actually have a description for this one. It is like a purple base but it also shifts like copper in there as well. I don't have this one swatched. I did not get a chance to do that but again this is a stamping polish. It is not a basic nail polish that you would use for a manicure. You use this to do nail art stamping with stamping plates. So I figured I would try it. I have one of their polishes on my wish list for the December polish pickup. I will try to share it with you guys in the future unless I insert a clip. I may have a swatch of it that I can insert here in the video. So that is Hit the Bottle Bobbles Deep. And the final one was another one that I knew I just could not leave behind. This, you guys, is beautiful. This also screams Christmas to me. This is Wildflower Lacquers, perhaps a Christmas gourd. And it is described as a deep cherry red base with pink to orange shifting shimmer. It does also state that it may stain, so just be aware of that if you happen to pick this one up. It is gorgeous. This is so pretty absolutely a beautiful color. I love the shiftiness in here. Again, going on my winter Christmas rack for sure. This was definitely something I had picked out for my rack before it even got to me. So that's exciting to have that one on my rack to be able to wear. So this was done in two coats. It is a beautiful polish. Absolutely just gorgeous. Perfect for the holidays. Such a pretty color. Does not dry textured. Should not be difficult to remove. A couple, you know, I double up on base coat when I wear polishes generally just in case staining and this one does say it might stain a little bit. So you can double up on base coat if you wish to, if you have this one. So that is two coats of Wildflower Lacquer, perhaps a Christmas Gourd. So that is it guys. That's everything that I picked up for November polish pickup. Let me know if you got any of these down in the comments below. I would love to hear what you got your hands on. These are so beautiful. Cannot wait to wear these. That's it for now. Hit that subscribe button before you leave. I upload videos two times a week at 5 a.m. 5 Eastern Time, and I will see you later.